Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. Here we have the Hollis DT system. So this is designed for twin cylinders. Uh, this is a great foundation if you're just starting out getting into twin cylinder diving because it comes pretty well assembled as you see it here. All you have to do is just adjust it to size, add and remove anything that you want. Uh, it's a great platform for uh, an entire lifelong uh, sort of diving career. Um, it's, it's made out of tough materials. You've got the stainless steel back plates for a bit of weight. Um, so you've got trim weight. You don't have to uh, sort of you carry quite as much in your weight belt. Uh, let's take a closer look. So this is how it arrives. Uh, as you can probably tell by my little grunt there, uh, you can definitely tell it's got a stainless steel back plate inside of it. Um, this sort of fabric-y material, I don't think it is fabric, I think it's some kind of uh, plastic or something, uh, but still it is a bit nicer than just a plastic bag. Um, so yeah, you can repurpose this for all sorts. Uh, you've got the Hollis logo on it, which is kind of cool. Uh, the little tag on one side, which I imagine has the, um, uh, the serial number as a barcode or something on there. Um, grab handle at the top so you can carry it around. And then on the inside, you have the uh, obligatory silica gel, do not consume. Um, you have a, a little bag with manufacturer information uh, on there and two stainless steel tri-gliders. Uh, they're always handy, so keep them somewhere safe. Um, you also have a, a little booklet uh, sort of pouch thing and on the inside of that you have some Hollis stickers which are kind of cool uh, and the limited lifetime warranty information. Um, so that's quite nice. A bit of foam padding to protect it from damaging. Um, yeah, otherwise it's pretty well assembled. Uh, so all you have to do is just adjust it to your shape and size and add any um, additional uh, sort of bits and bobs or remove any bits and bobs that you, uh, you don't want. Uh, so let me sort of unpackage it, um, inflate the, uh, the wings so you can see it in all of its glory uh, and we can take a closer look. So starting up at the top of the BCD, you have the inflator that comes in right at the, uh, the top of the center. You get a 90 degree elbow, and then that leads to a corrugated hose, which is that sort of oval shape. So it sits a little bit closer to your shoulder. And at the bottom of that, you actually have just a traditional K style inflator, uh, inflate, deflate, and the oral inflation valve. There is a cable on the inside to avoid over extending that corrugated corrugated hose and you have a couple of retainer straps, one for the low pressure inflator hose and one for the corrugated hose, which is attached uh, in the same way as one of the pre-bent metal D-rings. Um, moving over to the right hand shoulder so you can see the D-rings a little bit better. So these are stainless steel pre-bent D-rings. So the bottom of the D-ring just sits a little bit away from the shoulder strap. So you can clip bolt snap onto it uh, a little bit easier. You get two of those and those are both in place with those stainless steel tri-gliders. So you can move them up and down depending on where you want them on your shoulder strap. And underneath that you have this section of padding which can follow it or you can sit wherever you like because these are just held on with sections of velcro so you can move that up and down as much as you want and underneath that you have the two inch standard webbing uh, but you have two of these little rubber retainers so if you have tools like a, a torch or something and you want to keep it close to your body you can clip it off onto the d-ring and then tuck it underneath one of these retainers and that stops the torch from dangling out of the way Across the uh, the back plates, we have more padding over your shoulders. So if you're diving in warmer climates, it's just a bit of padding so that you don't have the uh, the metal against your back. Uh, but you can remove that if you want. Uh, most of the padding is just attached by Velcro, so you can remove it. Um, if you don't want it. Back plate itself, this version is stainless steel. This is four mil thick. Uh, Yes, four mil thick stainless steel. Uh, so a decent amount of weight on that. So it adds a bit of trim weight to your system. So you can probably take a little bit off of your weight belt, uh, but quite modern in that you have all the traditional attachment points, um, but it's skeletonized as well. So it's not too heavy, um, but you also have some clever attachment points down at the bottom. So you can have a, a V or a Y shaped crotch strap if you wanted to. Um, but otherwise everything that you want for single cylinders, twin cylinders, uh, it's a good uh, sort of multifunctional backplate. 
Moving down around the waist, your two inch webbing strap then roots through the back plate and becomes the waistband. Uh, and you have two straight stainless steel D rings, one on the right hand hip, one on the left hand hip for gauges and accessories and things. Uh, and then that comes around to the front through a pretty traditional uh, quick release weight belt style buckle. And you also have a two inch webbing crotch strap, which is the much softer materials because of where it travels. Uh, two straight D-rings, one that's movable down in the, uh, the small of your back, and then one at the front, which is fixed, and that sits just below the front loop, so that's for your, uh, your DPV to, uh, to pull you along. At the bottom of the back plate, uh, you might be able to see it from this angle, uh, you have those two uh, horizontal two-inch slits, one on each side of the back plate, so for a Y-shaped crotch strap, that'll be really handy if you wanted to, uh, to swap that out. And on the left-hand side, just sort of around your kidneys, you also have a pull dump, a one-way um, dump valve, so that you can adjust your buoyancy when you're horizontal or inverted. Turning around to see the back, so big donut style wing, so the air is free to flow all the way around. You have this external protective shell and the zipper around the, the inside section, so you can access the internal separate bladder. Um, across the back, you have all of your mounting points, so plenty of attachment points for your twinning bolts. Uh, two of them are taken up by um, uh, just bolts that attach the, uh, the back plate onto the wing or vice versa. Um, you do have a pair of um, vertical parallel slots, which would traditionally be for single cylinders, but I would not use this with single cylinders because you're going to get the taco effect where the wings, whenever you put any, um, uh, any buoyancy inside of them, they're going to wrap up around a single cylinder. You really need two cylinders side by side to hold it flat um, so that you can dump any, uh, any buoyancy. Um, but otherwise, yeah, good, good tough material materials and, um, and lots of attachment points. So wherever you want to, uh, to mount your cylinders, you, you've got plenty of grommets. And that's the Hollis DT. So who's the DT for? DT stands for dual or double tanks. Uh, so it's designed for twin cylinder diving. Uh, you've got 50 pounds of lift in that wing, which is a decent amount. And the, the traditional uh, donut style wing donut shape is going to be a great all-rounder but with the back plates of stainless steel that weighs a fair amount so this is more for divers who are diving at home um, that weight of that stainless steel back plate is going to make it a little bit prohibitive to uh, to travel with it because that's going to add quite a lot to your baggage allowance so this is more for divers who want to dive at home uh, and in this configuration specifically on twin cylinders however if you wanted to you could swap that uh, that wing out fit a single cylinder wing and then dive it with single cylinders um, it's this is the benefit of backplane harness systems they're very configurable uh, and, and personal as well because it's a single piece harness this webbing material you can adjust each individual strap to the perfect length and you can move the d-rings to exactly where you want them uh, add any extras as well it is very customizable so this is for sort of more advanced divers who want a, a BCD that they can fully customize, have exactly how they want it, uh, and to specifically dive with twin cylinders. Now, there's gonna be more information on our website, simplyscuba.com. There's gonna be a link down in the description below so you can read more about the DT and buy it from us at Simply Scuba. Thank you for watching everybody, and of course, safe diving.